What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how to replace your crank, uh, I'm sorry, camshaft position sensors. Intake and exhaust camshaft position sensors on your Jeep Patriot, Dodge Caliber or Compass, whatever has the 2.4 Dodge Avenger, Chrysler 200, anything that has a 2.4 motor, Dodge Chrysler Jeep. This is a Jeep Patriot right here and this is what the sensor looks like. This right here is an intake or exhaust camshaft position sensor okay here's the part part number pc 748 and this is the brand that we got from the auto parts store all right now what we need to do is we need to access the sensor there's one right here i'm gonna see if i can turn the light on boom there we go you see those colorful wires in the middle of the screen that's where your sensor is located that's number one we follow it directly across to the other side and you will notice the same one now keep in mind that i took the liberty of disconnecting this one already so i could show you how to do it all right the way you do it is these have a, a red clip that you have to pull up the clip and then press on this and pull the wire out all right but that's that one in the back you may have to move this heat shield to the side to get to the 10 millimeter that's back here but in order to get the one in the front i'm going to show you right now step number one we remove this by turning these two things you lift it up let me see horizontally horizontally lift up remove put it to the side you're gonna need to take this off right here so you can have plenty of room to get to the sensor so get an eight millimeter loosen that up bring this red clip back pull this out disconnect this sensor pull this back move it to the side now you're gonna have a crystal clear view on that how do you remove that clip it's easy you get one of these tools right here you get down where the clip is and you lift it up all right lift it up out of its secure spot once it's up press it pull it out just like that now the next step is going to be to loosen up the 10 millimeter bolt that's underneath the way the sensor is sitting and it's sitting like this so you need to take that 10 millimeter bolt that's right there and the way i accessed it is i got me a little quarter inch uh, extension and i went right here through the bottom and you can access it you can turn it but this is my setup right here you can see you can get a shorter extension but this is how i access it real, real good and i can I have some space to move to the side too all right so we're going to take this one off pull it out and show you real quick what it looks like. all right so once you have removed your screw the next step is to wiggle this sensor out my recommendation is to reach down here where that hole was and see if you can spin it or if not grab like a flathead and you know just move it out of the way just like that okay now once it's out of the way let's pull it let's pull it out of here electrical car repair guys we make over 200 videos on these cars guys to so make sure we save you money guys hey hit the comments if you if you know them electrical auto repaired car guys i love them guys man i can do everything with them check it out this is out with the old in with the new so that's what we need to replace right there this is the old one look at how gunky and nasty that looks we're gonna clean the new one up real good i'm gonna slide it back in and put the bolt all right so i'm gonna pause this real quick and get to the next next step all right guys so with the new sensor in place you're gonna want to push it in make sure it pops in place just like that all right and then the next step is to put that bolt right through the bottom tighten it up and plug it in okay all right so with the, the new sensor in look if you can see to the side i have clear shot we're tightening it up keep in mind you don't have to over tighten this just enough to make a snug connection right there all right boom done deal now what you need to do is you need to plug the sensor back in just like so sorry about my sorry about my ca uh, camera work real quick but just like that and then click make sure you bring that safety thing down and then she's good to go nice and snug in there that's how you replace your intake camshaft position sensor now we're going to move on to the next one which is the exhaust camshaft position sensor all right guys so this is the back side i'm going to be showing you how to do that next one look i'm going to move this out of the way and you see that bolt right there in the middle this one right here that's the one that you got to get to okay and getting to that bolt is real 
easy and simple. All you need is a 10 millimeter. This is how I'm accessing mine, right here. Let's see. Careful not to lose that bolt, you know. Great. Cool. Well, once that bolt is out, we're gonna wiggle the sensor out too. You can spin it real quick to loosen it. And then wiggle the sensor out. Just like that. And it's gonna come out. All right, there you go, guys. That's how you do it. The installation is the same, just in reverse, okay? I'm gonna pause it and get to the next one. All right, guys, so once you have uh, tightened down your, the one in the back right here, the exhaust camshaft, plug it back in, just like that. Bring the safety pin down. And just like that, you replace your intake and your exhaust camshaft position sensors and a G-Patriot. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.